What's up everybody? Hello, how are you? So today we are doing a fun little project. As you guys saw, we recently got an ambulance and we are slowly making it into a camper. And today we are going to be building the bed for the ambulance with the segment DTX 10 3-in-1 measuring tape. So let's see how it goes. All right, friends, so check it out. I'm gonna get up in here in the ambulance. Okay, so the plan, let's explain. We are gonna do a bed right here. Our idea is to make the bed two pieces, one piece here so that can be a sofa when it's closed, and then one piece that you flip over and take the sofa piece to make the bed. So then that will be two uh, cushions wide. We are gonna use this plywood here for the structure of the bed. And we're gonna use the Segmet DTX 10 three-in-one measuring tape to do all of our measurements. This measuring tape is really cool. It does a lot of different things. So stay tuned to see what it does because it's kind of crazy. It's really uh, capable measuring tape. So come along for the ride. First, we have to unpack the plywood and undo a bunch of stuff like seat belts and weird little brackets and things like that and uh, remove the cushions. So let's roll. If you guys wanna have a little bit of a laugh, when we went to go buy the plywood, the guy at the store asked us if we were building coffins <laughs> because we were in the ambulance and we have not really done anything to the outside of the ambulance so it's very ambulancey at the moment still so that's pretty funny on we go Alright, here is the progress. So, as you can see, it's a little bit dirty, so we are going to wipe everything down and kind of clean everything off to get a fresh canvas to build the bed. And if anybody knows what these are, we are very curious to know. These two were right here and right here, and these two square ones were right here and over there. Alright, on we go. Time to clean. Basically right now what we're gonna do is undo everything, pull these out, and paint the inside because it needs it. <laughs> So as you can see, it's really dirty in here. It's old, it's lived a life. So it's time for a fresh coat of paint and a new life. <laughs>
All right, you guys, so today's video is sponsored by a segment, and we are gonna be using the DTX-10, which is a three-in-one measuring tape to build the bed for our ambulance. So, first things first, let me tell you about some really cool features and all about this really cool measuring tape. The Astigmat DTX-10 features a traditional steel tape, digital tape, and a laser ruler. This measuring tape has an ultra-accurate digital electronic tape measure. And the green laser line extension offers quick and accurate alignment, which you will see we get a lot of use out of this feature. The display is really bright, easy to read, and the settings are really easy to navigate. The display can also be adjusted to right-handed or left-handed use. Incremental measurement takes zero calculation as the Segment DTX-10 allows users to set the display number to zero when the tape blade is pulled out at a particular point. This makes marking multiple measurements at once extremely quick and easy. The laser ruler calculates large distances up to 120 meters with a single point and shoot action. Another really cool feature about the Asegma DTX-10 is that it can calculate area and volume with a few measurements. The versatility and convenience of this measuring tape is something that I've never seen before, and it's a great tool to add to the toolbox. The DTX-10 helped a lot for our sofa bed build, so stay tuned to see how it improved our workflow. And don't forget to click the link in the description if you guys are interested in picking up an Segment DTX-10. First step we did was measure and cut the plywood that we're going to use for the bed and the cushions. All right, you guys, now we are going to cut some plywood that is going to go underneath the cushions that we're gonna build for the bed in our ambulance camper. Um, also, I just wanna let you know, it is very, very cold today. So this is very hard to uh, be kind of like out in the elements working on stuff. So yeah, basically we're gonna cut this plywood, use the DTX-10 to make sure our measurements are super precise and move on from there. Now that the first layer of paint was dry, we applied a second coat of paint because it needed it. <laughs> All 
All right, so today we are gonna take the finishing plywood that we cut yesterday and do the finishing touches and move forward with building the bed. So let's get our sand on. We lightly sanded the plywood and rounded the edges a little bit, so when we bump our shins into the corners, it won't hurt as bad, in theory. Sorry, it's a little bit dark in here. We don't have the lights on at the moment um, because we just wanna measure something really quick and let me explain what we have to measure. All right, so the bed is gonna be one piece of plywood that kind of cantilevers over to about there and then a second piece that kind of flips over. Now, for that to work, we need to build sort of like a stand, like a support that's gonna go underneath the cantilevered part when it's away and then we will pull it over to here and flip the piece of plywood on top when we want to make it into the bed. Now the thing that we have to figure out, we don't want the supports to interfere with these things on the ground because they stick out quite a bit. Like as you can see, they're kind of high. So we don't want the support to be like half on, half off. It'll be all wobbly, wobbly and weird. So what's really cool about this measuring tape is this laser on there because you can do things like this. So we go at 55, it's the width of the bed, 55 and a half actually. All right, perfect. And now we see where that end up. And so now we know that we don't have to worry about these ones, but we do have to worry about these ones because that's exactly where the end of the bed is going to be. But so we're just gonna arrange the supports to be not where <laughs> these parts are. About 65. That's perfect. Just clear and uh, 32 and a half. We should be just here. This is so handy, this stuff. This is really so handy. Yeah. A straight line like that, a laser. Yeah, yeah, in the measuring tape. Yeah, it's insane. So now we have the good measurements for the little support kind of bench thing that we're going to build to go underneath the bed. And yeah, like Viant said, it's really handy to have this laser. It's a really easy way to kind of shoot something to tell where your measurement is going back to the plywood game. Just kidding, actually, we are going to do the height now. And we want the height of our support to be directly underneath where the plywood is going to go on the top right here. So that's another good thing that this laser comes in handy for. Once we had our measurements, we worked on cutting out the pieces we will need to build the bed support. Time to cut.
The incremental measuring feature is really cool and it's really helpful for when you need to do a bunch of measurements in a row with different sizes because you can zero the display. And that saves a lot of time because there's no need to do a bunch of calculations. So it's really cool that you can reset and not do the calculation. More like a straight line. You know? So we have our support all cut out. These are gonna be the vertical parts and the long piece that we cut is gonna be the horizontal part. Tomorrow we are gonna come back and sand everything, connect everything together and seal everything, very important. And then hopefully install it in the ambulance. Pretty exciting, so stay tuned for more. Next up, we sanded down the edges of the plywood to smooth everything out. So now we are working on building the support bench. So these are the pieces that are gonna go in the corners to connect the plywood together. Uh, you'll see what I mean when we start building it, but yeah. All right, so now basically we are ready to put everything together and build the support for the bed, spray everything down with the sealant, and then hopefully we can build the cushions for the bed and then install everything. So this is what, how we are going to make the support for the part of the bed that's kind of like cantilevered out. So we have this as the horizontal support and then these that we just sanded as the vertical support. And basically just so we don't split the plywood, we're gonna use these little blocks as kind of like to strengthen the corners and everything. So the block will be like around here and then this will be like that. I'd just like to mention, Vion and I are pretty new to woodworking, which is very, very different from working with steel. And since we are beginners, we have a lot to learn. Okay, first test, let's hope this is not disastrous. All right, here we go. I drill in 70 pound. <laughs> kind of bent in the 
So now that everything is connected, we are just sanding a few areas down to smooth everything out. We used the air gun to blow off all the dust from sanding and then we started to apply the sealant. All right, so that is pretty much it for the day. We are gonna let those dry overnight and come back tomorrow and build the cushion for the bed. Next up, it was time to find some fabric for the sofa, which ended up being a lot harder than I thought it would. This is it, guys. Just kidding. The search continues. We are learning that fabric is expensive. Of course, we like the one that's at the end of the day, Peanut gets the final choice. Perfect. Store number two. Wish us luck. All right, guys, we found a winner. Show it. Show it. Look how beautiful that. Coming to a sofa near you. Excuse me. Can you please help me find where the hinges are? Do you know? Next step, find some hinges. So here we are at Lowe's, getting some hinges. What you think? Gonna find what we need? Let's find out. Come on. Hello, new day. Actually, it's really nice today. So today we are gonna try to tackle the upholstery. This should be interesting. I hope everything works out. <laughs> Vion and I basically have zero experience with upholstery, so we took a few classes from YouTube University, and now we're gonna give it a try. Guys, this is just another public service announcement. Vion and I have never really done upholstery, so this is gonna be sort of a test and is our first time ever making a cushion. So, but we're gonna give it our best. No judgment. We do our best, all right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We use staples and a staple gun to staple the fabric onto the plywood. That part wasn't too bad, but what was really challenging was trying to figure out how to do the corners. All right, so we just finished upholstering this side. Like I said, it's our first time ever doing upholstery and we kind of struggled a little bit with the corners because um, it's kind of the hardest part. So we just did the best we could. We watched a couple tutorials and everything that we saw didn't really work for this application. So 
we just kind of did our best. I know they don't look uh, totally perfect, but I think it'll be all right for what we need it to, to be. We're gonna flip it and see what it looks like. I have to say, I think it came out pretty good considering it was our first attempt ever at making a cushion. So one cushion down, one to go. And now we are working on setting everything up to build the second cushion. We needed to cut the foam a little bit for this cushion, so we ended up using a pair of scissors to cut it. Then it was time to rinse and repeat and do the same steps that we did for the first cushion. All right, you guys, today is the day. We are finally going to be installing the bed for our ambulance camper. I thought this day would never come, but super exciting. And afterwards, when we're done installing the bed and checking to make sure everything's good to go, we are gonna go take a little trip and test it out. So, should be fun. We ended up using the old hinges since they were already there and they worked really well. All right, so we got the first piece of the bed installed. Just have the room to put like the, the pad under, so we lift it to touch just enough. Perfect. So first piece installed. Now we are going to work on connecting the second piece. Okay, we just finished putting everything together as far as like the the frame and the support of the bed and everything. And here's how it turned out. So we installed 
the hinges these were from the ambulance so we just reused them and then we matched these hinges kind of at the same placement and we just figured why not but anyway so this is how it works we fold this part back so and you can use the storage yeah that's where all the, the bedding stuff will be and then this slides underneath for when we don't want to use it and that's it and that's it so this is what it's like in couch version and then what we started with is what it's like in bed version i am pretty proud uh that was like our first time doing anything like that making a bed everything turned out pretty well we're pretty happy with it so now we're just gonna go grab the cushions that we made and see how it works with those All right, here is the finished product in sofa mode. Let's see, oh my God, it's so cool. <laughs> <gasps> and here is our bed. So this is just under a queen size bed, if I remember well. I think it was... I think it's 55 and a half instead of 60. Yeah, and I think the height is a little bit shorter, if I remember. But we have no choice. If not, we'll uh, obscure the entrance door. But, wow, it is comfy. And I can't wait to test it out. Very, very cozy. So that's awesome. I am really happy. Obviously, there's some room for improvement because, like I said before, we're beginners. Like, we've never done really upholstery and we've we're not really experienced in like carpentry learning with each project that we do which is kind of the goal in a way definitely some room for improvement but we are happy with our gen one bed, bed. we cut some pads to go on the bottom of the support piece and where the plywood folds over. And also where the bench touches the frame. So this is the final result as of now, because we still want to do a little bit more upgrades, but this is what we got, this is what we're gonna head out for a few days with and test it out, so it'll be pretty exciting. If you're a 90s kid and you watched Princess Bride, you'll totally get it. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, we are just going to pack everything up and get ready to hit the road and test out the bed in real time. Now that we've arrived to our destination for the evening, it's time to put together the bed for the first time. All right, so everything is set up and we get to test out the first night in the ambulance. So cozy. So I'll check back in tomorrow and let you guys know how it was. Good morning! Good morning, my peanut. Did you sleep good? Did you have a good sleep, peeps? Oh, my peeps. Hmm. Well, good morning, everybody. It is early and we just woke up from our first night sleeping in the bed that we made and i'm happy to report it's amazing it is really comfortable and the perfect size and wow it was just a pleasure to sleep in the ambulance so success totally happy with what we made i'm sure we'll continue to improve everything in the ambulance little by little but this is a good start so as always you guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video bye 
Our first time building a bed and doing upholstery was a success, and we are really happy with the results. The bed is really comfortable, and I'm looking forward to taking a lot more trips with Rambo the Ambo in the future. We have a lot more planned for our ambulance camper van, so be sure to subscribe so you can see the evolution of Rambo the Ambo. Adventure awaits. Help support our channel by leaving a comment, liking, and sharing this video. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our projects and adventures on Pacific Pines Ranch. We put out new videos every Saturday and sometimes even during the week. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any. Okay, bye.